Hello, I'd like to give you some feedback about the first week's discussion board activity when you took a template and created an email. First, the template is a good template. It's laid out in a very business-like fashion. Uh, short answers, to the point, the template itself uh, is divided into sections that are clearly marked. You use the uh, bullets, which are the common form of separating information in business. But really, what grabbed my attention, besides the excellent work, were comments made. Now, I hope I have gotten everybody, but I might not have, and it wasn't an intentional miss. Uh, Sarah pointed out that so many times things are overlooked because someone thought it was being handled by someone else. Isn't that the truth? That is why in the communication process of a business, it's good to know what's happening upstream and downstream. Downstream is what happens before it reaches you. Upstream is where it goes after you've had that information or that process or that step. The overall picture of what's going on is a powerful communication and training tool. Now, Leslie says this, where we are all not directly linked to sales, I think that sales should have an idea of how many units can be made in a certain amount of time frame. Isn't that the truth? And doesn't that relate back to the communication point uh, Sarah first brought up, uh, knowing what's going on around you through a formal communication process? Now, Kyle takes it personally. He talks about the role of repeating back what someone has said to you. I totally agree with that. It, it demonstrates that you have heard the person, you've actively listened to the person you're talking to, and if you happen to have it messed up, they'll correct you and correct you right on the spot for instant feedback. Uh, Kimberly says it bottom line, poor communication equals lost money. Now, Emily points says this, I completely agree that it's important managers work as a team in order to be all on the same page. Dysfunction sets in an organization when managers are not meeting, when managers are not communicating, and they're telling people to do different things in different ways. That's a signal of a dysfunctional team. Now, Laura Lynn also addresses training and she says, it's been my experience that companies spend a lot of time going over policies and procedures that the baseline employee will never encounter and somehow miss going over the instructions for how that employee is to complete his or her job on a daily basis. You're preaching to the choir, Laurelin. It's absolutely true. Well, my surprise was you're commenting on one another, reflecting on your work based on what the other person has said. That is real communication. Congratulations.